Ever since it was revealed that the original unseen Battle of Gods movie script featured 18 and Krillin's wedding as the main setup, I've always wanted to see that scenario in a Dragon Ball Super episode. So, without further ado, let's begin Dragon Ball Super episode pitch 1. Krillin's Bittersweet Training, the Super Chaotic Wedding Plan Okay, my pitch would start out with Krillin continuing to train at Kame House because he still feels weak compared to Goku and the others. He didn't do well at all at the Universal Survival Tournament, so he feels obligated to train. Oh, by the way, this episode pitch is directly after the Universal Survival Tournament. Meanwhile, 18 picks up Marin from elementary school but is annoyed because it was Krillin's turn to get her. Marin is surprised that 18 is picking her up on this day, so she asks to see her father. 18 complies and says that Krillin will probably be home by now, so they travel over to their house. When 18 and Marin unlock the front door and go inside the house, Krillin is nowhere to be seen. Just keep in mind that this is just a pitch and not an official episode, this is just my idea for a slice of life moment in Dragon Ball Super. 18 notices that the closet was left open and Krillin's total helmet gi was missing, so she assumes that he's gone training. As they arrive at Kame House, Krillin is doing extremely intense training, for his level at least, trying to get stronger for his family's sake. 18 approaches him calmly, putting her hand on his shoulder. Krillin is surprised and turns around, noticing Marin's smile and 18's warm feeling of her hand on his shoulder. He inquires about what they are doing over here as he's trying to get as strong as possible for their sake. 18 chuckles lightly stating that Krillin doesn't need to be the strongest guy in the world to support his family, as he's already done enough of getting a full-time job as a cop. Also, 18 flashes back to the time that Krillin had a tough time getting out the wedding on time, as he needed to pick up several things for the ceremony. In this flashback, for the pitch, Krillin would be stuck in traffic, had to get the rings and wedding cake prepared, all while having to juggle a six-hour day at work beforehand. Everything would be on his shoulders at that point, but he successfully got it done because of his deep love for his family. The wedding flashback scene would take up a majority of the episode, with 18 occasionally narrating in short bursts. The reason I don't have too much of the actual wedding in this episode is because Dragon Ball isn't known for its overly romantic moments. So, I wanted the sequence to be chaotic and as comedic as possible, but still with a touching underlying feeling attached. Also, the whole getting to the wedding with everything not going the way it planned concept is referencing the NES video game Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, produced by Toho. For those that don't know, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde is a video game where you walk to your wedding, but everything in the town is trying to stop you. The company Toho is obviously the ones who made Godzilla, and Toriyama has referenced Godzilla and other Toho created monsters in his manga, so it comes full circle. Anyway, at the end of the episode, Krillin, 18, and Marin travel home as the sun sets. During the fly home, they agree that Krillin should train if he wants to, and 18 assures that she doesn't feel that Krillin must train. The scene pans to show a final wide shot of the starry night, with Krillin, Marin, and 18 as silhouettes flying home. I hope you enjoyed my first Dragon Ball Super pitch, and if you did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. See you later.